Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here, kicking off a Let's Play series of The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. I recently announced in an update video that I'm going to start doing Let's Plays here on the channel, where we take a look at one game throughout the course of one to two weeks from start to finish, and then move on to another title. I decided to start with Morrowind because I actually just downloaded the Morrowind Overhaul mod, which completely revamps the game's visuals, so I thought this would be a great game to look at. The other reason? I never actually really played Morrowind, so let's start off with a brand new experience for me and hopefully an entertaining one for you in The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. Alright, each event is preceded by prophecy, but without the hero, there is no event. Wise words. In the waning years of the Third Era of Tamriel, a prisoner born on a certain day to uncertain parents was sent guard. Under guard, without explanation to Morrowind, ignorant of the role he was to play in that nation's history. Hmm. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage, and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. I... I have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Huh? Are you okay? What? Wake up. Huh? Hello? Hello? Is there anyone there? Stand up. Oh, hello. There you go. All right. You were dreaming. What's your name? My name, good sir, my name is Force. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. Sleeping like a baby. We've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Yes, I'm sure of it. Because why don't they just let prisoners Quiet. go from a boat? The guard. Okay, shh. Hey. This is where you get off. All Come right. with me. I guess so. Okay, let's see. A uh, little tutorial here to start out. W and S to move forward and back. A and D to move side to side. And mouse to look around. Goodbye, sir. You better do what they say. You got it. All right. Let's see here. I follow this guy. Where are you taking me? Where are you taking me, guard? Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. All right. Take it easy. What do I do? Uh, look up to the trap door. Press spacebar to open it. Spacebar activates objects and people you are looking at. On deck. Now. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna go say hi to this lady first. Hello. The sooner you leave, the sooner we can move on. <laughs> okay. Uh, what a witch. All right, let's go. Trap door to Sedanine. And this will be the first uh, showcase here. Well, I guess you saw it there too, but look at these visuals, man. Looking good. Now, as I said at the start, I didn't really play this game at all. I played it for like a week in my freshman year of college. Is there anything in here? Uh, I played it for like a week back in 2004, uh, the, uh, fall 2004, which was my freshman year, and I far from completed it. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to and the I also don't remember anything, but I definitely don't remember it looking this good. So this mod, glorious. You finally arrived, but our records don't show us in play. Oh, all right. So let's uh, go ahead and do our character creation. Now, I'm sure some of you might want me to do Khajiit. Uh, we did our Skyrim series as a Khajiit, but I want to play this a little different here. I kind of want to go with like a warrior. So let me take a look here. Skill bonuses, alchemy, alchemy, attrition, conjuration, athletics, alchemy, blunt weapons, hand to hand, nah, abilities, yeah. Nord, ooh, axe and blunt weapons and heavy armor. That looks like the one for me. Let me just check the other guys though. This guy looks more tanky, this guy, acrobatics, athletics, uh, long blade. Long blade for the red guard. Uh, let me go with the Nord, actually. I think we're going to go with him. I'll just keep, his face looks great. Let me change his hair. Cooler hairstyle. Got a new one? Yeah, that's, that's great. All right, cool. Uh, we're going to go with a warrior type here with the Nord. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Absolutely. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. You got it. Notice there's blur, like focus blur. Depending on whether or not you're looking directly at an object or a person. See, like, his, his face is blurred, but when I look right at him, it comes into focus. That's kind of neat. Head on in. Yeah, I'm going. 
I'm just showing showing the world to people, guys. All right. I don't even know what I don't even know what's going on. This place is quiet. Too quiet. Who are you? Ah, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. Okay. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, I can generate a class, pick from a class list, or create a custom class. Uh, for the sake of brevity, let's go ahead and pick from a class list here. So I do want to go warrior type. Uh, let's just focus on specialization. This guy specializes in stealth. This guy stealth as well. Combat here, marksman though. Assassin, barbarian, combat with major skills being axe. Strength and speed are his focus. The bard is stealth. You can play me a song. Uh, battle mage, crusader, blunt weapons, long blades. I'm probably gonna go with the axe, I think. Long blade, axe for the knight, mage, monk. Mm. Let's go, spell sword, yeah, whatever. Uh, let me go, I'm gonna, I think we're gonna go with the barbarian. Keep it nice and simple. Very good. The letter that preceded, you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? Uh, that would be the Libra. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, okay, apprentice. Let's take a look at what these are. Hmm. Something battle-y, something fighty, something combat focus. Serpent Steed. Steed Fortify, Speed, nah, Tower. Nah. That's the warrior. Fortify attack 10 points? Absolutely. Let's go with that. Interesting. Now before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Alright, little uh wrap up here. Name force. Race Nord, Class Barbarian, Sign the Warrior, 55 Health, 30 Magicka, and 180 Fatigue. Got myself some Strength as my primary attribute, followed by Speed and Endurance. Personality, 30. Intelligence, 30. Who needs that stuff when you're mighty? <laughs> and then a whole list of uh, attributes here. We're just going to click OK. Looks good to me. All right. Uh, I now have a Stats menu. You can always view this information. Right clicking allows you to use the menus. When you're done with them, right click again Show to close them. Okay. The captain when you exit to get your release fee. All right, where are my papers? Read your papers by pressing the space bar when looking at them. Hit. Okay, so it's this release information. All right, there it is. That's that's me. That is me on paper. Let's take it. I have an inventory menu that I can see. Like all menus, right click. Okay, so here are the menus here. Looks like we got this stuff. I can move it around. There are my basic attributes, all that information about myself. And then we've got uh, inventory here. A little bit, a few filters. Stuff I currently have. This is my release identification. Okay, great. I'll show it to the guard. Is that what he said? Continue through to the next building and talk to Sullus Gravius. All right. There we go. Close the door so they can't see what I'm about to do. Because I do remember this room. I remember taking everything the first time I played this game. I don't think it's really necessary this time around, but I'll take some stuff. Like, I'll take this wooden cup. And I will take this goblet as well. And I'll also take a few wooden buckets. I don't want to sell this stuff. Actually, why don't I just take all... Alright, uh, learn how to do combat. Okay, good. Combat stuff. Uh, dagger here. Equip the dagger. Moving into my picture, here's a note. Risker, don't think I've forgotten our wager. I want this dagger sharp as a scamp's claw by the morning. Well, sir, you won't be getting the dagger because I have now equipped it. And I can press F to pull out the weapon, use the weapon as readied, uh, left mouse button to swing it, hold it down to do more damage. Right as rain. Oh yeah, combat. All right, so we're just gonna take a couple of things here. <laughs> I'm gonna sell this stuff in town. I, so I, I remember this. I remember the very start of the game. But I, I literally, beyond this, pretty much know nothing else. Is there? Take some food over here. I'll leave them their silverware. What is this, though? Lockpick, yes. Equip lockpicks in your inventory menu. Try picking the lock of the small chest on the shelf. Okay, I will. All right, so I need to equip it first. So let's go ahead and do that. I just have to keep hitting it. Okay, well that was easy. <laughs> and I got me a, a single gold piece. Great, worth it. Oh, 31 gold pieces, huzzah. 
That actually was worth it. I'll take some plates too. I will leave you the silverware on your <laughs> on your mantle here. They're gonna be like, what happened to everything else? What happened to all of our bread and our paper? What a thief. All right, what is this? The firmament. The stars of Tamriel are divided into three constellations. Okay, so here's some thief, the mage, and the warrior. And then there's like all this other sub. What is this? So I'm the I'm the I'm a warrior. The first first guardian constellation and protects his charges during their seasons. The warrior's own season is the last seed when his strength is needed for the harvest. His charges are the lady, the steed, and the lord. Those born under the sign of the warrior are skilled with weapons of all kinds but prone to short tempers. Well, if you piss me off, you get the sharp end of the stick. That's what happens. That's weird. All right, let me put my uh, let me put my dagger back on. Go through the door. And I can't believe this is looks this looks good. I dare say this almost looks better than Oblivion. It's a stretch, but still, it looks pretty darn good. All right, now I have a map menu. Here it is. Awesome. And there's a world button over there. So there's the world. I'm currently in Sidanine, this little area right here, and that's that's Morrowind right there, guys. Let's let's exit out of that though. Check the barrel to your left, there's a ring inside of it. Alright. Engraved Ring of Healing, ooh. Restores health, awesome. Alright, now a magic item, you can see your powers. Okay, so magic menu, and active magic, press R to activate the magic skills. Okay, so active magic, that will show up in, let's see here. All right, awesome. So here's my magic menu. I've got a couple powers, Thunder Fist and Woad. I've also got a couple spells. Oh, no spells, but I've got the magic item, the engraved ring of healing, and then I can hit F to ready it. Well, let me do, put on this Woad. Shield self, 30 points for 60 seconds. So I hit R, and then I cast. And I get some bubbles around me. All right, that's cool. I can dig it. All right, let's go here. Inside, I need to speak to the captain. Don't try persuasion. If you're not good at it, he will start to dislike you. Oh, that's sad. What do you think of my bubbles, sir? Your what, papers, please. What do you think of my bubbles? You don't have anything to say about them, do you? What about a dagger? Let's see what you're made of. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> your actions for now, but once you're released, stuff like that will get you a... We'll get you arrested again. Oh, because I was in prison prior, I see. All right, well, I should probably just talk to him. First, let me take your identification papers. Thank you. Word of your arrival has only reached me yesterday. I am self scravious but my background is not important. I'm here to welcome you to Morrowind. Yes, you're in Morrowind. I don't know why you're here or why you were released from prison and shipped here, but your authorization comes directly from the Emperor Uriel Septum the Seventh himself. And I don't need to know any more than that. When you leave this office, you are free, but before you go, I have instructions on your duties. Package came with news of your arrival. Take this to Kajius Cosades in the town of Balmora. Go to the Sofuncon, ask for Kajius Cosades. They'll know where to find him. Serve him as you would serve the Emperor himself. I also have a letter for you. Okay. All right, so I've got a bunch of stuff here. Directions to the dude. Package for the dude and some gold. Thank you for that. I could also talk with some more about stuff. I don't really want to do that. Let's just go outside. And he's looking, so I'm guessing I can't steal anything. Can I steal this without him seeing? Will you see this? Okay, sorry. Yeah, all right. Goodbye. Sorry. Why? He, he, he didn't see that. He, he should not have seen that. That is unacceptable. All right, press J to use your journal and review what you've been told. You should probably check Ariel's trade house up on the left. You're on your own now. Good luck. All right, tutorial done, guys. Welcome to Morrowind. Uh, just a reminder, once again, my experience with this game, pretty much non-existent. So this will be a, a fresh, fresh world for us to discover. A whole new world. A different something point of view. I like the trees. The tre this mod is awesome. Who are you? I could possibly too busy. 
All right. Uh, do, 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 do. I swear they took my ring. Oh, jeez. I swear one of the guards has it. It was last. It was uh, do do shake down Fargoth ritual an engraved ring of healing. Family heirloom of mine. Oh, yes, I saw it. Here it is. <laughs> Found it amazing. Thank you, thank you. You are now my favorite friend. I'll be sure to tell the others, especially my friend Errol, who runs the trade house here. Go see him. He'll be happy to see you now. All right. So, I guess maybe that was worth it. Am I going to get something out of all that? All right. So, let's try to go find the trade house here. This is Valdenus <sighs> Nufius's house. This is Elda Fire's house. It's probably house two. Yep. What is this? Ah, Ariel's trade house. I'm waiting. That's the back door, though. What do you want? Don't look at me. All right, let's go into the trade house. Let's see if we can get anything here. I wonder if that was worth it. I hope they get like a free weapon or something. I gave him a damn ring of healing. Ah, here you are, sir. Hello. Please feel free. All right, Talk welcome to Ariel's life. trade house. I'm Ariel, publishing and proprietor. Don't take what doesn't belong to you. You're a new face here. If you want to buy from me, you have to barter. If you want a little advice, free to new customers, just ask. Would you like to hear about a popular potions or popular scrolls? No, what's your advice here? All right, if I want to live for a ripe old age, buy a weapon as much armor as you can. It's still running from trouble. Buy a spell or two and practice your skills. But don't practice on the citizens. We call that foul murder. <laughs> and we don't like it. All right, here, so let's see. We can barter with him. Uh, we can buy some spells. We can try to persuade him. I doubt I'm good at that, so let's go to barter. So does he have like a discount for me or something? Well, I don't understand. You have, all right. Well, can I get rid of some? What happened to all that stuff that I stole? Oh no, the guy caught me and took it all back. Is that what happened? Gosh darn it. That's what I get for getting caught stealing. I'm gonna keep the lock pick, keep all that stuff. All right, so I'm gonna, he's got a bunch of stuff here. Let me go with a uh, two-handed ax. That's what my guy's all about. Total gold cost 47, I've got 118. What about some apparel here? Buy myself a helmet. Do have any heavy stuff here? Well, that stuff's expensive. You know what? Maybe I'll just hold off because eh, maybe I should get something. All right, let me get um, hmm. Let me get some pants. Let me get these. And can I get this as well? Yeah. No, I can't. It's too much. All right, let's just buy that. All right, all right. So we bought some stuff here. Let's uh, go ahead and equip the, the axe. These greaves here. I got the dagger there. Okay, so I got some stuff. I got a nice two-handed axe now. That's good. What's going on up here? A little party. I'd like you to help me recover some gold. All right. Fargo's hiding place. I'll do it. I'm not gonna read through all of that, but. Looks like I got a quest. Any other quest here? No, I won't ask you anything. I don't want to talk to you. Any other quest? Looking for services, some specific place? This guy helps him find a person. Directions. I need to go to Balmora. Okay. Directions to Balmora so have been added to my inventory. What's this? That's locked. All right. Well, tons of people here, so I don't think I can steal anything. I don't know. Should I even play this guy as a, as a stealer? Should I have him steal stuff? I don't know. I'm sure I could spend the rest of this video talking to everyone in town, but I don't know that anyone even wants to see that. So let's go ahead and venture out into the wilderness. Balmora. This way. 
Here I go to save the day. Just pick that up. Does this game have encumbrance? I guess I would assume it would, right? What does this guy do? Tell me your destination and he can he can take me for a ride, all right. How much to Balmora? How much to Balmora? Oh, no, oh, I didn't mean to click on that. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough gold points to get Why to Balmora, am I? You can ride. I'm gonna try this again. Can I get to, oh, I need 21 gold points, which I don't have. <laughs> Where did I go? Where am I? I'm right here, I need to get right, ugh, I just took myself further away. What the heck, forget this, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna walk. So I need to go north, which is this way, right? All right guys, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna walk in. Here we go, here's something to kill. Why do we go in that? I wanna go and see what's in there. What is this thing? That was a Kwama warrior, and it is now dead. Take all, take all. Let me cast my spell on myself. I already used that power today, ugh, yuck. Um, can I only use Thunderfist once a day? I guess we'll find out, huh? All right, so I'm gonna go here into the Hawia egg mine. I can't see squat. I cannot see a thing. All right, so I can only use that thing once a day too. Can I just take these eggs? All right. Well, I need some sort of a light source, obviously, because this is not, and actually, let me, uh, let me quick save here. There we go. Just because I am not, I cannot see a, I cannot see a thing. Is there a guy over here? Oh my. <laughs> this is, this is terrifyingly dark. Alright, take all that. And take all this as well. And just take some more eggs and try to... I don't know what I'm doing in here. I don't like this. Nothing. What is that dispose? Dispose of corpse? Huh, that's interesting. Why don't we keep taking these eggs? You know, I bet there's a quest in the neighboring town to get these eggs. I'm sure there's something like that. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I should just stick to the main. This is terrible. Here's a guy over here. I can just barely see him. I need to stand by these luminescent eggs to see anything. What is this? Look at that! What the heck? Kill the queen. Where'd she go? All right. You will die soon enough, queen. You were dead. Well, I... <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to find my way out of here. I am willing to bet money on the fact that I will not find my way out of this place. Ah, uh, that helps. Um, I am right here. The entrance, I need to go straight and hook it to the right. Hook it to the right. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna actually talk to this guy, actually, speaking of quests. Hey. You're in an egg mine, Outlander, so be careful. Kwama forgers and their warriors attack egg mines, alright? 
Come forward your scouts to the surface of the land looking for natural underground passages. Okay, so you have nothing for me. Just some stupid dialogue. And I think I go this way to make my way out. I do not know why it is so dark. I wonder if that's this is a side effect of the mod. I can't see a thing. Forget it, I am out. I am out like a trout. Okay, so why don't we do what I'm supposed to do here and make my way to Belmora. My initial plans foiled by getting distracted and going off somewhere. I guess that's what... What? Giant flying jellyfish. Can I engage it? Or is this a mistake? Oh, he did a lot of damage to me in one hit. Should I avoid him? Oh, he's chasing me now. Oh, he does a lot of damage to me. I am avoiding him. I will see you later. What is that thing? Right, let's see here. Just a friendly warning. Don't spook the netch. Don't worry. They're completely safe if you don't bother them. But get them riled up and they're trouble. Especially Betty Netch. Well, you know, I could have used that information a little bit earlier. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. I don't know what this is. That was a mod error, apparently. Oh, well. Got some guys in here. I don't know you. What do you want? I understand. I don't know you, what do you want? All right, you guys are not very friendly. You are not very friendly. And she doesn't know me, what do I want? <laughs> of course not. Well, we've managed to muck around completely in this first video and accomplish a whole lot of nothing. Uh, I managed to rile up that, that friggin' flying squid. Oh, he is gonna continue to chase me, isn't he? Well, I'm going to continue to run, then. Hopefully in the right direction. Yeah, it looks like I am going in the right direction. Man, I figured it seems like it's, it's pretty close to one of the starting areas. If Ah, it's still coming. I figured I'd be okay to engage mobs, you know, early on here, but apparently that is not the case. Why don't we F5? Just in case. Just in case. Get ourselves a little, uh, little something over here, a little temple city or whatever. Let's talk to this guy real quick. I don't like you, I don't want to talk to you. Damn it. Guys, I'm having a hard time in oblivion. Nobody likes me, no one wants to talk to me. Strange creatures are attacking me. I don't even think I've got any way to replenish my health here. There's a guy down here in this little village. What are you? What are you doing here? What can I do? Can I take s I, I'd like to eat something. Can I eat that root? No effect on me. What about this egg? No effect on me. What about this this thing? No effect on me. Well, I'd like to eat something that would heal me. What do you do? Nothing for me, apparently. This, this is an unforgiven place. Unforgiving. Nobody knows me. Nobody wants to talk to me. Resin? I doubt that's gonna be much consumable for me. Take these leaves. Whoa. Uh oh, damn. <laughs> I'm dead. Run! You will beat us. I'm running. 
You will not chase me in the water. That is good to know. I'm gonna try to eat some of this stuff. No effect. No effect. No effect. Scuttle. Did I already eat that? I did. That also had no effect on me. Nothing has an effect on me. Ooh, a fish. Ooh, the fish is gonna kill me. Oh, that guy's still chasing me. Oh, crap. I thought he couldn't swim. Those were some pretty quick swimming lessons you took, dude. Guys, I am screwed. I, 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 I am screwed. I'll try to figure this out, but it's not looking good. <laughs> it's a start to our Morrowind playthrough. My friend is lost. Listen, now's not the time. Oh, that thing. All right. Well, uh, that's going to wrap up this first playthrough video of <laughs> the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. I'm going to try to figure out how to heal up and, uh, and have these guys stop chasing me. We'll continue this. Like I said at the start of this video, I plan to run this series throughout the course of one to two weeks. Uh, this game in particular will probably take two weeks. And uh, just because of how in-depth and how long it will be and how much just dilly-dallying I've done already in this first video. We'll make our way to where we're supposed to go in the next one, I promise. We'll, we'll try to stay on track. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning. Stop chasing me. You guys are ridiculous. Unforgiving. I'm sorry I took your resin. And I'm sorry I walked by you, angry rhinoceros. Darn it.